everyone, hey, it's Mario. And uh, this is probably my first and last N64 run that I'll be doing. Because I can't stand working with Moon Man. One run is enough. But for that one run, I decided to make it a noteworthy one. So I decided to do a 16 star run of Super Mario 64. Um, anyone not familiar with the game, this was for the N64. It's the first full 3D game that Mario was on. Uh, if I remember correctly, Super Mario RPG is like some pseudo 3D graphics, but if it's pre-rendered, like Donkey Kong Country or Mortal Kombat type graphics, not so much as this Pardon the uh, or any uh, visual anomalies like frozen. That's outside of my control. I just kind of wanted to get this recorded. And yeah. You'll see lots of fun tricks in this room, like glitching through walls. Abusing, uh, ground pounding when collecting stars. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when you ground pound to uh, collect a star from underneath, when Mario touches it, it almost looks as if he's dropping at ground pound speed, which is faster than falling speed. And then you don't get the uh, crazy high floaty jump after collecting the star if you have any leftover luck. Hey, go. There's really no precise order in which I collect these stars. I just kind of Along. I probably spent more time than I should of collecting stars on the main floor. <laughs> on second thought, I kinda needed eight stars to get eight stars. That's not so bad. <laughs> What I did do was I probably spent too much time in these things. It's an interesting abuse that I discovered, or er, glitch that I found while watching the Reaper's 120 Star TAS videos. Here we go! Um, if you ground pound, it's like, as, uh, starts falling, then you'll actually go up there and still ground pound them, which is obviously faster because then you don't have to, uh, you don't have to run around and then jump on them here we go! Exciting news I find and on my desktop. Um, this is the first run that I narrated since Um as you know, I uploaded Mega Man 6 and Mega Man 7, which were entirely recorded, encoded, and uploaded on this computer. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Happiness has something to do with either the fact that this is 3D. Here we go! 
or that I had to check null frames, or use null frames with Lagareth lossless when I was recording, or when I was getting the AVI for this. Otherwise, the file size would have been too, like, way too big, way too quickly. If I didn't have null frames in check, it was already up to like a gigabyte size after, uh, yeah, it was like up to a gigabyte size after the intro of the game. Here we go! The whole, the Kidu flying in with his camera on his I just, you know, I'm not very, I don't really like moving 64 all that much. I did not get along with it very well at the very end of this run, because like the first time I tried uh, dumping the AVI first, um, went smoothly up until end. I had cut off the input really, only to find out that's not a good idea with this, because Moopin has an input recording bug where at the end of your input file, it presses all of the buttons, including the start button. So, after the last long jump, I... After the last long jump to collect the final star, or second star level, the input was, so. Yeah. Disappointing. Especially, or even more disappointing is that when I unpaused it, Here we go. it's, uh. The long jump didn't even go far enough. So I had to redo that long jump, and I had to redo the ending so that I stopped the input after collecting the star, where you no longer have control over the game. We're finally going into 8 star So, nothing glitchy so far. Um, yeah, once I hit... Or once I go into the basement of the castle and this There's the first eight stars, and then there's like no non-glitchy gameplay where it's Let's just say that I like backwards long jumping a little more than I should. Unfortunately, I can't do backwards long jumping that well in real time more than 25% You'll notice that for some of my backwards long jumps, there's extra long jumps where I can Instead of the uh, constant butt dragging against the wall in the elevator, I'm sure there's people, or people who would pay good money for that at some point. Originally, I was planning on getting a couple of stars from uh, 
the Shifty Sandland, but I ended up throwing out, uh, going to Shifty Sandland at all, so um, by the time I was done with, uh, Hazy Mains, I had 12 stars. As Let's see. Oh, one more star until the super glitchy game. I'd say like super super. I've seen worse. Like Mega Man. Here we go! I'm go this way for a Because of the last minute change that I decided to do, since, you know, there's another star nearby this one that's easily accessible. Using that same method, I figured I'd get that instead, and then I got the star from Toad afterwards. And there was only room for two stars, so I decided to go to the in my ramen. Yeah, after I discovered I actually pulled backwards long jump to some degree, I decided to uh, Practice backwards long jumping on like every elevator. Here we go! Chewie! Crazy cat eating a flashlight. Here we go! Suppose you can hear the litter box in the background. Yeah. So, the reason why I picked a 16 star run instead of trying for like a one or zero star run is because of all of the super glitchy backward long jump full Super Mario Brother or Super Mario 64 runs that I've done. I've only done the uh, 16 star. Hey, I died a bunch of times. Unfortunately for you guys, this isn't my console. This is God of War 64. After doing even like a short run like this, even, I have like way more respect for the N64 TAS series than I have ever had. Like, Super Mario 64 is like a really sync stable game. Like, I've changed. I. Even super long runs like uh, Riku's 120 star, they will still sink, and I can have like the completely wrong. Like, 
I can have a Glide 64 video plug-in with Azimers, uh, high-level emulation sound plug-in, the RSP, uh, cheater plug-in, the, uh, Enrage input plug-in. Still syncs perfectly. For this, I just went ahead and used Java's uh, Direct 3D 6 1.8. After this point, no more stars are white. If you watch as many TAS as I do, you'll know that you don't even need stars to finish the game. There's zero star star. about two minutes left in the run.
He never got to tell me the daily oath. Thank you so much for playing my game. Hmm, game went black. 